another Timu haul. I'm sorry. I think I have a problem. I do love Timu. Now, I've heard it said a different way today. It's evidently said any way you please. So, Timu. <laughs> All right. So, this is a mixed bag of, hmm, well, you'll find out. I hope you're interested. I'm just gonna start grabbing out of my bag. Um, let me make sure I got the ones that have the prices on them. It might help. Well, let me start out with this. I, I bought my husband something and he said he liked it, but uh, to be truthful with you, I wore it first. You see what it says? Yellowstone Dutton Ranch. He he is the biggest fan. I like it too of Yellowstone. So this is a nice cap. It's called just a ball cap, but it's adjustable. And like I said, I've worn it. I had a bad hair day, so I had to wear it. But it's a nice, nice quality. I mean, you'd pay uh, a lot if you were to order this from somebody else, I'm sure. This ca this ball cap was $6.39. Really? I think I got a good deal. All right, so the things I got multiple of, I'm just gonna show you the one, you know, that way you'll know. This is a uh, continuous spray bottle. It looks like that in the box. I got two of these. And this was $3.98. And I don't know if y'all have your hair done or anything at the um, beauty shop, but, or wherever you go. But these are the bottles that they use. And they just, you know, just continuously spray. I love these bottles. They're great. So I got two of them. They are, uh, hmm, let me see. Does it say how much they hold? Probably not. But two of these, three ninety eight. Now probably um, there's probably already been a price change in a lot of this stuff because it changes like daily. So I'm telling you, I have a problem. <laughs> I also got multiples of this. This is a. Let's see if I can show it to you without too much glare. This is a $1,000 bill with the man on it. Here's the back. Trying not to glare it too much. But it's very thick, thick, like almost like cardstock. But I got two of these. I got him one and me one. You know, the last haul I showed you, I think I showed you that I got the coin. Yeah, I got both of us one. This was two eighty eight. What else is in this little bag? Oh, oh yes, I love it. This is called Otis or Od Otis. It's a um, it's a Muse of Light women's perfume. It smells very nice. It was ten dollars and thirty four cents, but. That. Isn't that cute? And it smells so good. It's not sweet. It's not perfumey. It's very clean smelling. I was trying to just pull the top off. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. $10.34. It's, um, um, 50 milliliter bottle. Put it back in the box so it don't scrape around on the floor. All right. Um, while these are already out here, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I bought a four pack of diamond paintings. I like to diamond paint. What can I say? This four pack of diamond paintings was $12.59. 
That's a little over three dollars a piece, right? And they're all 30 by 40s. And it looks like to me that they are a fairy theme, which I like too. All right, I'm gonna try my best not to make as much noise as, as, as much as I can, or you know, as I, you know what I mean. Try not to make so much noise. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay. Well, it's okay. I'm not going to throw out the colors and everything like I did last time. But, isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. She looks like a butterfly princess or something. But the colors, you know, obviously are what, what's on there. There are 23 colors with that one. I'll do this kind of quickly, so... You know, the ones that don't care enough, nothing about them won't have to sit through it very long. Or you can always, you know, you can always fast forward. By the way, thank you guys for watching the last video. It was a hit. I didn't get very many comments, though. I'd like you guys to, to comment and let me know if you like what I get or if you plan to um, possibly buy from Timu. I did get a, a message from one of my subscribers that said that she was waiting on her package and I can't wait to see what she got. I really can't. Okay. Wow. Here we go. Let's get it where she's pretty. Got a little boobish hanging, but you know, if you got it, flaunt it, right? I love that though. It's beautiful. I love the greens in it. Plus, green is my favorite color. And I'm doing it down here so that uh, so that hopefully the noise doesn't bother anybody. I know how people don't. A lot of people don't like the crinkle in. Set some on edge. Alrighty, let's see. Okay. That one's pretty too. These are full drill diamond paintings. That last one had 23 colors and so does this one. So they're probably all the same with the number of number of beads they have. I like her red hair. <laughs> oh. You know, I'm a crazy girl. Crazy girl. <sighs> so, yeah, if, if you guys watch, leave me a um, thumbs up or an emoji or something. You know, let me know what you think. Um, of course, you know, if you like it and you, don't, you haven't subscribed, then, you know, it would be nice if you did. I'm trying to grow my channel, and I'm trying really, really hard to... Um, be diligent about doing these videos and hopefully you guys like them i mean you, you it, there's been a lot of traffic on and i'm sorry this if this camera's moving but there's been a lot of traffic on my channel but nobody seems to want to um put a comment but i appreciate it if you do i'll i'll call i'll talk back to you here's the other one this one i'm not so thrilled about but it's okay Probably be prettier once it's done. What do you think? Maybe? <laughs> All right. But I'll let you guys see them when I'm finished with them. I'm working on one right now that's huge, and I'm almost done. Almost done. All right. I am planning to start doing resin after I finish this diamond painting that I'm working on. Because I have to kind of hop around a little bit because I did my journal. It took me a long time to do that. And then this diamond painting, of course, I picked the biggest one I could buy. But it's beautiful. I'll show it to you guys when I'm done. I don't know if you guys ever saw the um, Elizabeth that I did not too long ago. year ago? year ago. I think it was a year ago. But she's pretty big. But it didn't take me but about a month to do her. And I'm not sure why. Maybe it was just a lot of... Uh, anyway, 
back to the tumu. Anyway, I'll show it to you when I'm done. I get off track, sorry. I'm faffing. If that's what it's called. <laughs> All right, so getting back to the resin. I've ordered quite a few molds. This one I'm about to show you is a, um, I think it's called a, uh, hmm, let me see, Crystal Tower, $6.49. And then you get the two, two sizes. So it'll be, you know, pointy at the top. I can't wait to play with this resin. Six dollars and forty-nine cents. You can't get these from Amazon that cheaply, and they're not cheap. They're good, good quality. All right, this one was three fifty-nine, and this is just a three, sorry, three size, um, three sizes of a sphere, just round. You know, they're like could be like a paperweight maybe. They'll be pretty. This is the other size. And then here's the small one. Can't wait. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She's crazy. All right. And I'm trying to do all this in sort of like a, you know, like, like things. So hopefully that I won't be jumping around. So I am so sorry about all this. I meant to take it out. I promise I did. But at least I've opened it. All right, this is a five piece, I think it's, yeah, five sizes of mushroom molds. So, there's the top of one. And it, no, that's not the one. This one is, is smooth on the inside. This one is the other, this is like two layers, but in on the inside it has the little, can you see the little round? I think you can, yeah. You know how they have the little, some of them have the little dots on them? And then there's another size. So that's three, and here's four and five. So the only one that needs a, a base, I guess, are the two larger ones, because the other two pretty much have their own base. So there, I guess that's the base. We'll find out. But I'm happy about that purchase. All right. And I got a um, feather. It's it's a tray. Feather-shaped tray. I'm so sorry, guys. And I, I don't know how to pause on this phone to get it to not cut off. This one was actually $5.99. But it's it's gonna be a pretty feather. You just put the stuff in there. Yeah, I'm excited. And I'm not gonna take this one out. This one was two eighty seven, and it's a ring mold. It's all different sizes that you can make rings. And. In here. Sorry about that. This is a an egg. It's an egg shape. Can't really tell, but it's shaped like an egg. And this one was um, uh, it's either two eighty nine or two nineteen. This is two eighty nine. Then I got the cat paw, and it has the, um, see if you can, you can't really see it, I don't think, but yeah, maybe you can right there. It's got the little, um, they, what do they call that? The, um, it's like the traction on the bottom of their feet. That one was 219 and I think that was all of the resin stuff. All right, now this I got multiple of. I got two of each one of these and they were 78 cents a piece. 
I'm going to slide it out here. It's just a little silicone spoon with slots. I've been looking for small silicone spoons for my small pots. I found some. I'm going to probably go back and order about five more. Maybe. Maybe not that many. Just depends on my mood and if I like them. You know. That's how it goes around here. My mood and if I like it. Alrighty. Next thing up is a multi cleaning pen. Now, this was a dollar and 48 cents, and this is made to clean your. Well, let's see, what can you clean with it? Your AirPods, the charger on your AirPods, um, your. Um, what is that called? Keyboard. Mm -hmm. All right, you use. It's got a brush. One of those little up and down slots. It's very soft. And you have a fuzzy poker. <laughs> then you have a sharper poker. I guess that's to get any dried up stuff you might have in there. <laughs> but, do you see that? Yeah, you can see it. It's this. I don't know if you saw the fuzzy thing well or not, but it's just a fuzzy little thing. I think it shows where you use the um, fuzzy little poker to go down in the, like the charger. You know, how you put your ear pods in that little charger and then, yeah. That's what, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if I like it. For $1.48. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee real quick so I can talk some more. Excuse me. All right. Next. Youngins, avert your eyes because you don't need to see this. <laughs> it's just a um, sports bra. Looks huge, don't it? It does look huge. It's got pads in it. I definitely don't need the pads, but I believe I can take them out. I'll have to take them out because I can't wear pads. Anyway, it's got the breathe holes, breathe holes in the back. And goes around to the side and under the boobies. Right there is a good place for breathing holes. If you girls with the What do I call it? Mm. It's called humidity. Okay, I didn't say that out loud, YouTube. I whispered it, so. If I get in trouble, I shouldn't because I whispered it. My sister came up with that. I never heard of it before. <sighs> yes, my family is crazy, too. Just like me. All right, Let's pull this out of the bag real quick. All right, so this was 1834 or 39, something like that. It is a nice purse. Very nice. It has a zipper pouch here. And it has a strap for my shoulder because I have to have a shoulder bag. It looks like to me it's going to hold quite a bit. What do y'all think? I think it will. There aren't any dividers in there, but oh, I lied. I lied. I didn't mean to lie. There is a pouch in the middle that zips which is good and there it, there are pockets here a pouch here in the middle 
and a zipper pouch on this a zipper pocket on the side it's not terribly deep but it works on the inside it works and i'm probably going to go swap my stuff over into this tonight or tomorrow i don't know okay oh it also came with a little tag now where this is supposed to go i have no idea but it says something. Can't tell what it says. No, can't tell what it says. I don't have my glasses on, so oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Made in China. But it's just a strap, but there's no way to connect it onto anything. So unless you tie it, I don't know what you, I don't know what you do with it. I guess I could put a small little um eyelid in there or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Alright. This is a set of 30 magnets. They're, they're called retrographic art magnets. And there's a unique design on each one. Aren't those pretty? They're just like the blue porcelain. I'm not going to take them all out, but get you some. You'll like them. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I thought they were pretty. <laughs> I have a problem. I'm going to have to go to talk to somebody about this Timu problem. I'm pulling out clothing. Before I show you the clothes, though, I want to show you, I was waiting on this pair of um, pillowcases. I heard something. I don't know what it was. It's hot here in Georgia tonight. This is February 16th. It's 70 freaking degrees at 8 o'clock at night. I don't know. But anyway... This is a pair of the large pillow covers for the couch, you know. So, these are very nice, too. And I paid, oh, what is it? Yeah, $13.98. I don't think it's bad because they're heavy, they're soft, they're, they're nice, very, very well made. And I like them. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull this stuff out of this bag here and um, make sure I've got it all out before. Alright, got one more little tiny thing here for you to, sh to show you. This is this was a dollar forty-eight, and it's supposed to be like a phone screen charger, not charger cleaner. Boy, I tell you, I need to go somewhere. Okay, you take, it's got a little cap that covers it. Take that off, and that's really soft. Feels kind of like velvet or something. But you wipe it on your phone, on your phone screen, clean it off. It's got a little uh, uh, cloth clasp. You clip it on your phone, I guess. I thought it was neat. I'm going to give it a try and see if it works. Huh. That's the other side. It's in, it's, I don't know. Does that come out of there? Oh, I know what this is. These are replacement pads. I got two extra replacement pads for the other side. I guess. Either that or you can just take them out and use them. I don't know. I figured out, but I like it. It's cute, and it's pink. Can't tell, really, can you? Is this light too bright? I think the light's too bright. Let me see if I can turn it down just a wee bit. Just a little. Gotta find it first. All right, let's see if you can tell it's pink now. Not really, all right. Okay, 
believe me, it's pink. All right, next. Now I'm probably going to return a couple of these. Actually, I am gonna return them. As soon as I show them to you guys, I'm gonna put them in a box and send them back because they're too small. And I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. All right, I ordered all of these for me. I'm a t-shirt wearing kind of girl. You can't really tell with what I've got on today, but I didn't want to have on my Scooby-Doo t-shirt trying to do a video, but you know, it may resort to that because you may see me wearing this one. <laughs> Yellowstone, once again, you're gonna see a trend here. And I'm looking at the wrong thing. You're gonna see a trend here. Okay, this is a this is an extra extra large. Now, I'm assuming it's 100% cotton, so I'm assuming it's going to shrink a little bit. But it's almost it's it's the right size for up here, and it's about halfway down my leg, my thigh. So it's going to have to shrink just a little bit or I'll have to wear it tucked in. Okay, that's that one. Now that one I'm not going to return because that is the right size. Um, how much was that one, Lisa? That one was... Oh my goodness. $9.39. Try buying that somewhere else for that. Right, this one was eight dollars and fifty-four cents, and you probably won't understand what this shirt means if you don't watch Yellowstone. But those of you who do, you will understand that it could be a train station kind of day. <laughs> I like it. Okay, now for some reason, this one, and I don't know if it's because it's made of something other than cotton or what, but this is an extra large and it's too tight in the front. And of course, if it's too tight in the front, it's gonna be too tight in the back. And it's not that bad around the waist, but this is one of the ones I'm returning. Now, I did go ahead and order replacements for these, and I've already ordered that order. So, this one and the one I'm about to show you, I believe that's the only two. No, I have three that I have to return. So, why well, I thought I could wear, anyway, this one, another, um, Another reference to Yellowstone. Like I say, if you watch it, you will understand what this means. All right, this one was also an extra large. And again, it's too tight. So, I'll know next time to only get extra, extra large. Why y'all trying to test the best Dutton in me? <laughs> I love it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, buddy. This one was ten thirty-four. All right. This is the other one that I have to return. And let me ask y'all a question. Nothing in my closet is large. Nothing. It's all either extra large. Or extra extra large depends on how, how it's made right well this lovely blouse was eight dollars and 99 cents it's called a boho knee length blouse it's very very soft feels kind of almost silky it's got a collar the sleeves are long and yeah it's long you could wear it with some leggings. I don't wear leggings. Not out in public, but you could. But, yeah. I don't know what made me think I could wear a large. I don't know. 
but I got a large anyway. So these three are going back and I'm getting the right size. And one more thing and I will let y'all go. All right. Now this is a um, soft silky blouse that is an extra large, but I can wear it. Isn't that weird? Isn't that pretty? And I like the V-necks. I don't like the things that cut me off right here. But it's a short sleeve. It's very silky material. Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm not sure what they're made out of, but polyester I would assume. But let's see what it says, if anything. Mm -mm. Made in China. So it says Jersey material. That's what it says. All right. So, what do you guys think? Did I do a good job? Yeah. Well, you know, there's going to be more coming. So, I'll be sharing some more with you. I love Timu. I really do. And like I say, I may have a problem, but hey, you know, everybody's got to have some kind of problems, right? <laughs> and, uh,. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and if you think that you would like to find some of the good bargains that everybody is finding. I've had to watch everybody's that comes up so that I can tell if I need that or not. <laughs> Y'all have a great evening. And please comment. Let me know what you're thinking, you know. If you plan on looking for some good stuff to to have you a video for, that'd be great. We could do a team video collaboration. Hey, that's a great idea. I like it. Okay, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all have a great evening. Love you. Bye.